thought everyone fit well out of this game this weekend. Yeah, at this moment, yeah, everybody's not not too bad. So um, yeah, we'll see how we have again this morning. How's Danny Rowe progressing? Doing alright, but still a few weeks away. But he's doing uh, he's doing okay. Him and Kane are doing doing well. Kane's doing really well. So um, yeah, no, pleased with it too. You've had a look at all your strikers recently in different partnerships. Mm. Is that a tricky decision which two to pick from the, the three at the minute? No, I have us playing well. Stays in. So it's no it's no hard. So I, I know what, what pair and I'll play. And the lads that haven't been in the team of late, you had a fairly settled side. Have those boys reacted in the right way, the way you would expect the ones that haven't had game time? Well, yeah, you'd expect that anyway, you know. It's not something I'm going to worry about. That's your job. Your job is to go on with and, and get in the team. So it's up to you to get in the side. And somebody like Cole, who we've been a bit accustomed to seeing in the team for a number of seasons, mm. he's been on the bench, but mm. clearly will we'll still have a part to play, won't he? Well, absolutely. I mean, that, that, his pass for the goal the other day was, was excellent. Uh, to James and then obviously James flips it to Caden but Hughes and Downs have been playing ever so well I think Cole would recognise that himself but um, oh, listen, absolutely and, and Cole only found himself for the team through an injury when somebody goes in then, then you've got to try and get him back in Where are you on his future in terms of a new contract he's out of contract this summer Cole's gear I think him and Marcus were, but we're, we're talking uh, before but we, we're not in a position to do anything until we, we have success here so That'll be on, ongoing, I guess. and uh, But Marcus will be the one that will obviously dictate to that. At this stage, would you like to keep him next Yeah, listen, he's been great. He's been absolutely great for us. And uh, as I said before, I always say to you, if, uh, if he was five, ten years younger, then uh, it'd be brilliant. But we've got him at the wrong, the wrong end of it. Uh, but I say that him and Marcus will probably sort it out. And when we spoke last week, you weren't too sure about Dobre and El Mazzuni in terms mm. of sending those two players yeah. out alone, but you've let Idris go. Yeah, I have. Uh, as I said, they're still part of me what's right and what's what's uh, right for him. The right thing for him is to go out and play men's football. That's that's the right thing for him. The right thing for the club is for him to go out and play men's football as well. So I think all round, I think that was a, the best decision, even though there's still part of me thinking, yeah, could he do something here at this, at this moment? But I think long term and him for his development, it's, it's really important he goes and plays men's football. You've got the likes of Cole Skews and John Nolan and Teddy Bishop in reserve at the moment. So might Andre be somebody you'd consider sending out on loan? No, 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 no. No, Andre's son's ahead of us in that, on that, that scenario. So, um, no, Andre's, Andre's been well, done, done well for us when he, when he played. So, um, no, we wouldn't, wouldn't let that happen. Everybody's enjoyed seeing Luke Chambers and Luke Wolfe and making the runs from, from centre-half. But how much of an unsung hero has James Wilson been in, in terms of his defending in the centre and holding things together? He's been excellent, Wilson. He really has. I think he's done a really good job. As I said, that lad came in with no pre-season under his belt at all and played most of the season for us. And he's he's been excellent. Really quiet. Quiet lad, unassuming. But day to day he goes about his job really well. And Josh Earl, how's he settled in? He, he must be a bit impatient, but I guess he's got to understand the situation in terms of making his debut. Well, I think he knows. Obviously, the team's been going well, but training-wise and, and the way he's settling in, I think it's been really, really good. And uh, I'm sure he'll get a chance at it. But um, I think he'll be first to recognise well the team's done done well since he's been in. But really pleased how he's he's fitted in. I'd imagine the same for Alex Neal. He knows how the game works. He, he won't be putting on any, any pressure yeah. to, to get his player in your side. No, I don't. I don't think so. I think the. I think when any manager does that and looks looks over and sees what another manager's doing with a player, if the team's going well, it's difficult to to change it. I think everybody, every manager knows that. Equally so, if the, if the team's not doing well and and he's not getting a chance, then you can maybe say what's what's going on. But at the minute, the team's going really well. Is he impressed in training? Has he looked the part? Josh, since he arrived? Yeah, very yeah. good, very very good, really good left foot, really happy with him, and um, yeah, just biding his time, I guess, and. Um, Football-wise and, and ability-wise, very, very good. Clearly versatile. Do you see him as a centre-half or do you see him as somebody who can get up and down in, in the wide areas and the wing-back or full-back? Well, we've, we've shown them bits the, the way we're playing, obviously, and, and he's trained with it really well. I think he's, it suits him being a left-footer on, on that side. So, um, no, I'm really happy how he's, how he's kind of fitted in. And nothing imminent in terms of players going out, players coming in? Any interest in yours, anything? No, not, not, nothing at the minute. We're... We're fine at the minute, so um, as I said, we can't go and do a lot of stuff that you'd like to do, but that, that's the way we are as a football club, so yeah, we, we just got on it. You certainly know all about Lincoln, you've already seen them three mm. times this season, what you made of them in those encounters? It's quite a tough, 
tough game. We were at home. The onus is on us to 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 make the run. So, um, but we're playing really well, and we'll go and try and do what we've been doing the last last uh, four or five games. You must feel you've kicked on since that five three in terms of being unbeaten in the mm. league since the defeat at Central Bank. Yeah, but I, I think the, any given game you can you can win a game. That, that's it. Doesn't matter where it is. It's to win a league. You've got to do it over a long period of time. And we put ourselves in a position where we're um, we're in a good good position at this this moment. We've got a lot of games still to still to go, but we're in this moment we're we're playing well. You hinted last weekend a little bit disappointed with the playing surface at Portman Road. Is that fair to say? Is that something you'd like to see addressed? Well, I think everybody can see it. You know, it's not just me. It's just everybody can see it. Besides the club, as I said again, the finances dictate to that. that you want everything to be perfect, and if you if you can, but it is what it is. So, but listen, if it's, it's no any worse than trying, then that's for sure. James Norwood here on time without any damage to his car today. What do you mean? He had to break into his car the other day to avoid being late for training. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he locked yeah, the keys in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did he? Oh, there really you go. I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, no, he's been. Oh, yeah, he's been here. Yeah, no, I've not seen any, any. I didn't know that actually. Didn't How bad is the there. fine for being late for training? Because it must have been a hefty bill to fix the car. I must have said he wasn't he late. No, uh, no he, he uh, said he'd rather have broken into his car than be fined for being late for training. He, he oh, said the he? fine was that high. Yeah, that's quite sensible. I'll mean, <laughs> make, make sure I get here then in time. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I, no, I, I never knew that. You know, he's a character, though, isn't he? A bubbly, bouncy character. He's different. <laughs> he's, he's certainly different. So. Um, yeah, I think every player's every player's uh, got their own personality. You know, some are some are different, some are uh, level-headed, some are yeah, but but a uh, bit strange. But there we go. You need that, though, don't you? It's all part of the fun of being oh, a manager. Oh yeah, uh, you, you, you need that definitely. You need different characters as, as long as they perform on a Saturday. That's that's the main thing. As long as they do things right in training and they perform on a Saturday, that's that's uh, that's all you can look for. Is it easy to manage, or is he one of those that can test you at times? No, I don't have a problem with, with any of the guys. I, I don't never really have had any problems with any guys. So, uh, no, they, they have their moments. They, they have their moments. It's like, they're human. They have their moments. Right, thanks, Paul. All right. How close is Teddy Bishop to a start? He must, he must be uh, desperate to get on the pitch for start any game. I'm doing really well, him. I think he, he sees the team again performing well and he's got to kind of bide his time to get in in, in that scenario but I thought Saturday came on and done, done really well again he's uh, been out for a long time but he, him and Freddie are the same scenario I think the two of them are getting better and they're two good guys to have on the bench at the minute the way the way it is but also I know that they're getting close to to really knocking the door but I think what it's doing is pushing the other guys to stay in the team and play well yeah I was going to say do you think that's push Alan Judge playing oh, without a doubt. little bit harder yeah I think he's playing he's playing great for us at the minute him uh, and I think that's exactly what's happening. I think the, the, the lads are starting to see people starting to push now, and then it, it drives everybody else on. If you've got, so I guess, if you've got someone like Teddy on the bench, you can come on and mm. do something a bit different. That's a decent spark to have, decent option to have. Uh, yeah, the two of them are, because Fred is different to everybody else as well. Bish is certainly different. He's a runner with the ball. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy how they are progressing there too, you know. In terms of Idris, how how important is it getting the right the right club for him? Because I guess he's not a player you want to send out and see the ball going up over no. his head for, for ninety minutes. He needs to a place where he can play. If he can, ideally. But if he's got to get into that scenario, it's great for him because it shows him another side of the game, it shows him another physicality to the game. Another. But the big thing for me is he's not too far down the road, and he's a good guy, Colin. Good guy. So I'm happy for. Him. For that to happen, hopefully he earns the right to get in the team first and foremost. But it will, it will do show him a different scenario for what it, what it is here. I think even though the football will be a great experience for him, the other side it will be an even better experience where maybe the facilities are not as good. The reality of being out there might come down on him and I think that's important. It's worked for Flynn and Luke Walker, hasn't it? And yeah. Yeah, that that's the benefit of it. That's 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 why I think twenty three football I don't think is beneficial for, for, for young young players who want to aspire to play men's football. Would Dobra be a 
one that's another one, yeah. Aye, that's another one, yeah. That's because I think he's in he, he's in the same category as I just I think definitely too good now for twenty three football. Needs that men's football as I, as I call it. But he's in the same kind of category as, as what I just is in. I know you were asked briefly about just the night last week, but how, how far away is he from being a because I guess you yeah. want to get him out on loan, but if he's he's just not fit. He's just no fit, Andy. He's no. He, the lad's not really done much for us at all. If anything, he's not really been with us at all. He's a horrendous injury. That was at Notts County. So, um, yeah, but he's, he's he's doing well in his rehab. There's no pressure for me or push for me to say he must play there or play there. It's, uh, the important thing is he gets back to playing football again. It's such a shame for him, wasn't it? Because he, he had a good yeah. pre-season and he forced his way in, yeah. into the thoughts, maybe. Yeah, he was doing all right. He was, he was doing all right, and then obviously that injury was was, was horrific. So, um, but the important, important thing is he's he's getting back to to fitness. And is Kane still end of February sort of, sort of time for training? Is that yeah, I think so. Yeah, but he's 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 um, I think he's in a lot happier place mentally, which um, which is great. So um, yeah, once we get him back as well, it'll be a big big uh, bonus for us. Do you have a bit of a mental barrier to get through? Is it? start after the surgery then, is it? Uh, it's tough, because if you have setbacks, ups and downs, when you're out for a period of time, it's, it's mentally tough. But he's in a good place at the minute, and uh, a lot more more happy, I think, with, with, with the injury. So hopefully it'll be too long before we get him back. That's fair. Good luck. All right, thanks. Thank thanks. What about Jack Lancaster? Because I think his, he had his operation in August, yeah. uh, just looking actually in the, the um, story that Glasgow had at the time, said he'd be assessed after five months whilst you were at January. Mm. No, to that no. If Jack can come back before the end, great. If he can't, it's no problem. He's another pre-season under his belt, and he goes again next year. So it's been a terrible, terrible time for him. Really bad time. But he's, um, yeah. No, he's he's still nowhere near it. Uh, and obviously Lincoln game just after Christmas. Just does that result and the, how that game went? Does that give a bit of additional motivation going into Saturday? No, no, no. I, n- I never looked at a defeat or use it against anything else or or a win. I don't know. It's two different games, different different scenarios. We're at home by crowd. We're most of the crowd on our side, so we're playing well. I, I know that. And one familiar face, Taylor Eden, who was here mm. last year. He's a bit unfortunate with injuries when he was here. Well, he got the eye injury, didn't he? Mm. I think uh, he got he got the eye injury, and uh, so he was only here for a short time when we were. We were here, and then he had to go and get. I think I think he got an operation in his eye, so um, yeah. And then he goes to Lincoln. So, but good, good, good footballer, good footballer. Mm-hmm. Um, a couple of stories around um, linking you with people in the Jews. Um, Matt Smith, the Man City player who's currently on loan at QPR, there's a report that you were eyeing him. Is there anything in that at all? What? Who's that? The, the big guy at Millwall? Yeah, no, no. The other, there's two Matt Smiths, and I know one was at QPR before, and there's. One on loan from Manchester City at QPR, Philip McFielder. No, 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 no. I, I know Brian Marwood really well, so uh, no, 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 nothing on like that at the minute, no. Okay, I think that's fine then. Oh, um, I was going to ask about Finn Downs, actually. We spoke to Finn Downs after the game last week and about the speculation, and he just said, no, nope, I'm staying in till the end of the season, whatever. That's the sort of attitude the uh, manager wants from a player, isn't it? And, uh, he's been great. He's been really, really good. Really good um, young guy, playing really well. And got potential, he definitely got to the top, that's for sure. Mm, but is, is that sort of not having his head turned at all by talk about him? Is, no, I, is I don't think Flynn, point? no, I don't think Flynn, and I hope I'm right with my assumption, it doesn't matter how successful he's going to be, I don't think he'll change. I'd be really, really surprised if he changed. And, uh, if he keeps the attitude he's got now, then he'll, he's going to go far, that's for sure. He'll, he'll go far because he's, he's going to be a really, yeah, a really top midfield player. And Wolf Lee, similar sort of, you've spoken before about how laid back he is, I can't imagine mm. these ones again. No. Kind of overload. I, 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 like you think, not. You'd be disappointed in years going by if you look by and think the two of them have, have come off the rails or, or been big headed or, or the money takes over the, the attitude to the game. Hopefully that doesn't happen to them. But in this moment, I can't see it but just because they're two characters or, or good grounding and they have to come for good families, good strong families, which I think is important for them. Excellent, thank you very much.
Alright. Alright, on va essayer la bonne.